Like, she there were times within this degree that I felt like, yo, I guys, guys, so. <laughs> Before we get on to today, to into. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tsepo Makwaba, but you can call me the Medgati. They say third time is the lucky charm. So we've started this video twice already. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this is the last time we go. Um, before we get on to today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your peeps so that we can grow the community. So today I thought, let's just reflect on this journey that it has been medical school. Your fave, that will be me, of course, right? <laughs> has finished all their theory blocks of MBCHP. So, the way our program is, we do well when you start, when you get to 30, you still do your theory blocks, and then but you go, you start going to hospital, you do your practicals, and then the fourth thing, you do uh, more theory blocks again and practicals. But when you get to fifth year, there comes a time when you complete all the theory and then you just do a hospital so we've done that and our class had a little celebration we dressed up for it maybe i might post a photo of <laughs> the outfit that i wore because the day before actually the whole last day of class because our year group like the university there's a tradition we every year we celebrate i remember when i was in the first year uh back then i saw the fifth years they celebrated uh their last day of class and then i was like one day that will be me but now when i was supposed to be that person i thought to myself nah i'm not gonna celebrate but yeah i'm FOMO, FOMO, FOMO morning <laughs> i woke up uh on the morning and i was like i need to do this and so now imagine and like there's a whole there's outfits to be worn it's like what am i gonna come to class as then i remember to her the person that i was in december the whole of december i was a city girl yes. i was up and down going everywhere so i was like city girls the time is up so i called up my friend mbali and then she's like oh yeah yeah we can do this but she's not aware that i'm saying we need to do this in an hour <laughs> then she's like come 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 so we took an hour and then we came up with I hope hopefully I'll find that picture and I'll post it there and be like we came up with this. <laughs> so you can see it was fun. And shoo, after that, I was like we did that. In the whole panorama, we still managed to do their things. So now we are only left with practical blocks. This is gonna be like hospital, hospital until the end. And we're also changing faces soon. So we are literally finishing our junior faces our middle clinical rotations and we're gonna go into our student internship guys like like what like what i said in the previous video the journey is ending and it is exciting it's very scary to think that from august i'll be student intern and after student intern you are an intern you are a doctor so my titles are about to change and sure there were times within this degree that I felt like sure I guys guys so <laughs> there were times where like this degree took me to hell and back. I remember in second year I think I should post photos as I go with this video. Remember in first year when I came here I was still very excited. I'll show you like I was very skinny and then second year happened. Yo 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 I got even skinnier. Like that year took me to hell. <laughs> Literally and back. There were times whereby I did I wasn't even eating properly, I wasn't sleeping properly because it was so like the content kept on coming and they kept on giving it to us and sure there was so much to learn in so little time and I remember at the end of Sakine because it took me to hell and it left me there <laughs> <laughs> which was so bad I started my YouTube journey because at that time I was really done for me emotionally I just didn't want to do medicine anymore and I was looking into other things so when I opened the YouTube channel there was a lot of noise that was going on on campus a lot of people had a, a lot of negative things to say about it but you know what I just persevered because it was a turning point in my life that something that was 
so insignificant to like a lot of people, meant so much to many other people that it was so well received. Like I look at some of the videos that I did back then and they are still getting views until today. Some of them are sitting on 17,000 views, 14,000 views. There's still comments on those videos and then I feel like those videos put so much hope to other people and that came back to me as well and it gave me hope as well. The fact that I got to engage with so many other people, the fact that I met up a whole new community and now I know that my YouTube community believes in me so much. There's people rooting for me that I don't even know. There's people who want me to win and in that I started clinical years in fact and that came back. Being back in hospital like meant so much to me because now I was starting to uh, interact with patients. I remember when I was doing obstetrics and gynae at Kailicha, you know, my first baby that I delivered because that's also another tradition here. Are you even studying at Stellenbosch if you don't have a third year baby that you uh, delivered? I would put it up there. I got a C section and uh, I worked with such a nice MO. And the sisters at Kailicha also were so nice. We, we, we experienced so much. Uh, even we delivered the lady, she had a breech presentation, so the baby came out legs first. And uh, I, I, I loved that baby so much because it was a miracle baby. The fact that everyone came, it was so intense, the baby had to be resuscitated and then they lived for me, it was so, so, so fulfilling. So the baby came legs first, it was a miracle baby, I did Pete also, I did family match, that was only third year. I remember I finished third year with internal medicine and I was literally on call on Saturday and I started writing exams on Monday and I still did well because I felt like I was in my element. Fourth year came, it came with the whole panorama. We had to stop studying because we had to go back home and I did my edit back at home. It was so much fun because I did it in peace. I, I, I think I've realized that I actually love young people. Like every time I do a blog that has children in it, I enjoy it. Even now I'm doing pediatric surgery. Well, we don't have to go to hospital much. We go for an hour a day. And for me, it's so nice because I get to see little people for an hour a day, even if it means just seeing them as I pass them in the corridors. For me, that's also fine. And what one thing that I've learned, especially, especially this year, it's the fact that sometimes you have to do the barest of minimums. You have to look up to yourself. Like we were doing internal medicine when we got back this year, so our first rotation, and I literally went to hospital for 13 days Wait, without getting a break. I went for the first week from Monday to Sunday. The following week I said for, again from Monday up until Saturday. And then the Sunday of the second week I was like, nope, I cannot go to hospital each and every day without a break. I was tired. And I took that day off, didn't go. And then there was a boy in my group. I don't like doing these things because they're very uh, Katie and um, I believe that as people we need to focus on ourselves but I'm only mentioning this now because it was very relevant at the end so this boy didn't even come for so many like they skipped so many days I think for the whole rotation for a month they came for less than 10 days and I'm being very generous by 10 days and they still got a what mark higher than mine and some of my good mates in the group and we didn't even complain because Probably the, I don't know what the doctor thought, probably they saw their surname, their surname was sounded very different from our surname and then they thought, oh probably yeah, they were very excellent, they did their work, they were keen, they were here and then they gave them a mark higher than ours and we was like, it's fine, you know what, it's life, you win some, you lose some, sometimes you do your best and people don't notice it, it's okay, as long as you are fulfilled. I, I, I've reached a point by in my life that even though marks are important, I don't use marks to define myself. And one thing, my marks are improving and improving with every rotation, with every year, that I don't have to fight anymore. If I get a 60 and I feel like I deserve that, I'll take it and I'll go back and be like, how can we improve and work so that we can get 70 the next time? And then that for me, that is working for me. I'm not the same kid who was stressing in second and didn't want to sleep, didn't want to, wanted to study all the time. Now, when I have to study, I will study. When it is time for me to relax and watch a series, I will watch a series. When it's time for me to sleep, I will sleep. 
I could so much sleep in me. Like I could literally put my head down right now. I would fall asleep in three minutes. And that is the one thing. Like we 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 learn. That's the one thing about this degree. If I were to look at myself back in first year, I was so skinny and I look at myself right now, I've gained so much weight. It gets to show that this degree is so 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 long. So you have to be kind to yourself and then you you, you learn, you experience things, I like you become better. If I have to say that, like you get better. So yeah. I don't know what this video was supposed to be about, it was supposed to be about that reflections, reflecting on this journey and how exciting it was, you know. And now, I just finished psychiatry before during pit surgery and shoo, I went into psychiatry so excited because I was like, this is a new discipline, it's different, it's different from all the disciplines that we've done and uh, ah, a day one of psych started. I went, we went to this uh, to Lentiche Hospital. It's it's the big one in the Western Cape, and then everyone has been saying, "Oh, the teaching is so so amazing." We get there, day one. Uh, we get a little orientation. We are being shown around, cool, and then the consultants sticks us to the MO, the medical officer. So he says this is the lady who's gonna be taking care of you for the for this month during the psych rotation. Cool. We get to her. You know what this lady does the first time we see her? She says to us, please wait for me outside. Not even in another room so much, just outside. Okay cool. My clinical partner and I go sit outside and wait for her. We are waiting, waiting. A good 30 minutes later she comes like oh I forgot about you guys! Like, okay, you we are so excited and you just forgot about us. Okay, cool. Okay, but anyway, it's fine, we move. So, she takes us to a student and she's like, oh yeah, 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 this is so and so, a final year medical student at UCT. Please orientate them. Okay, now you made us wait for you for 30 minutes outside and now he's taking us to another kid to orientate us. Cool. So this boy orientates us, super, super sweet boy, introduces himself, he tells us that guys on Tuesdays we do blood here, by the way this is the last blood I'm doing for the day and then after this we're done and then the consultant also told us that you don't have to come to ward rounds, ward rounds happen on Thursdays and then because of the panorama it was so full no technology it stopped us so we continue so that was, that's what i was saying the doctor said to us okay cool if you want to join the watch round you have to make a request on tuesday for thursday because of the pandemic we don't ex allow a lot of students and maybe if you like you will let one or two of you to join and not all of you so when you on psych we go on alternative days we go on my on tuesdays and thursdays and on friday we have tired on Wednesdays and Thursdays, the other group that goes because they can't have all of us at there at once because of the pandemic. And also another thing, the psych patients often have a, a, a routine. Between 8 and 9, we can't see them because they are taking their medications and then they are eating. And then we, have, we get to see them between 10 and 12 because from 12 to 2, they are sleeping. Which was very, very odd because if you have patients and then you try to reintegrate them into society. Where are they sleeping between 12 and 2? Who is sleeping between 12 and 2? So we cannot see them then. So okay, cool. On Thursday we are supposed to go. We get emails from the secretary that the transport shuttles are not going to be able to go to Lente here because there's, there's protest action so you can't come. Cool. So that is the first week we went only on Tuesdays. On Thursday we couldn't go. Shut. The following week we go on Tuesday, so we see our patients and then we ask this lady, can we present to you the MO? She's like, no, um, you don't really have to present to me, you can just you do it for your own learning and all. And you're like, I will see, how are we supposed to learn now if we can't present to you? But anyway, it's fine because clearly she doesn't want us there, she made it very clear. Okay, cool, so we see our patients because we have to write some case write-ups, we see the patients, we go to a TAD. On Thursday, we come, we see patients as well. I asked this lady, can I join the psychologist with her sessions with the patients? And then she's like, yeah, you can, so I get to join. Now, we do this for three weeks. On the fourth week, they are upset at us that 
why are you guys not coming to the world uh, to the world rounds the, the consultant that is responsible for you guys wants you guys to come you guys are very lazy <laughs> like uh well, now they don't even want to sign our log forms and then we should be like we're sitting there like this is so strange because one you are telling us that this is for our own good we don't have to come and then on the fourth week you flip the script on us and which was very unnecessary and now they're like the consultant is upset <laughs> you're shame you know <laughs> being an older student is <laughs> sometimes it's a curse because you sit there you're like okay he's upset i'm upset as well because i was also very pissed because i'm expecting to you to teach me on week one you said you're not gonna do that because of the pandemic now in week four i'm at four and now it, it was a whole thing they stand us off and for me it was so bad because i really really loved psych theory when we did it in the third year and now when you're doing it in practice it felt like i was doing practicals no a theory block during a practical block because it was like self-study and i self-studied it and now I came back home and I successfully deleted psych from any specialties I want to specialize in because I was saying to myself if that's what happens at psych then I don't want to be in that environment because as much as I enjoy working with patients if those are going to be my colleagues one day then maybe not I still have the young people and shame with those ones even if the pediatricians are mean I, was, I don't think I'll ever not like working with kids so for me I think I've found my home so yeah this is this is what's been happening in my life the degree was people ask reality versus expectations and like I am going to invite the ladies that we shot a video with when we did assumptions about medical students they are in their third years now so I think we should do reality versus expect no expectations versus reality so that they can come and tell us are they getting exactly what they expected for me personally um what i expected and then the reality completely different i don't know what i was what i was expecting i was expecting some great anatomy uh, i was expecting finding the love of my life in the hospital <laughs> <laughs> but that's not happening i <laughs> but hey, that's not what's happening now. <laughs> but you, we move, we we enjoy life. So it's the reality of it. It's fulfilling. It is what you make it out to be. So for me, for now, I'm pacing myself. Especially this year, I'm taking the first part of this year so slowly because I don't want to use up all my energy now because I'm starting SI in August so and I tend to be very extra I I intend to be extremely extra so I'm, I'm reserving all my energy to them hopefully I will still have all my energy left but my extra is not the extra that's annoying other people no. when I do things I do them for myself I will never throw other students under the bus because I'm just there for me I, I know that there's 300 degrees that the university is going to give out so it's not a competition we don't have to fight when people do weird things they're trying to score more marks than us for me it's like get your marks through as long as I pass it's fine like mm -hmm. it's okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you have any other questions about this journey you're not sure you're doing first year and then you're like mm, drop them down below definitely I'll respond I am one of the few youtubers maybe because I don't have a lot of subscribers I reply all the messages <laughs> I pride myself in that why Miss Lomani has nothing on me <laughs> We'll drink a shorter. <laughs> but if, like, if you enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share with all your peeps so that we can grow this community. I'm so excited. I think I think that I have over 2,000 subscribers. So great. So anyway, do enjoy your day. See you on the next video. Bye.